been almost two weeks since that fatal mass shooting outside of a club in Five Points South. While no arrests have been made, one law enforcement partner says the community is stepping up and providing information. Your reporter James Childs joining us live now checking in with Crime Stoppers. James, we know there's a lot of tips coming in. Yeah, Steve, Josh, at one point the phones were ringing off the hooks. Now tips have somewhat slowed down naturally two weeks after the shooting, but information continues to come in with the latest tip just coming a few hours ago. Crime Stoppers of Metro Alabama says it's seen an increase in community involvement this year. Well over 120 tips. According to the nonprofit's executive director, Bob Copas, it's only a matter of time before police catch those responsible for the mass shooting in the Five Points South neighborhood. This is about you having a safe street to live on. To have a park where your child can go to and you're not worried about a, uh, a, a, a drive-by shooting. So it's everybody's right to a safe place to live. And our community is suffering from, a, from a, a surge of violent crime. And so we have to work together to get that done. Compared to last year, Crime Stoppers' efforts have ramped up. We have seen a significant increase in the amount of tips that we're receiving and therefore in the amount of payouts that we do. Looking at data from Crime Stoppers, this year alone, they've helped police close 612 cases. Last year, it was 164. We don't work unless the public uh, buys into it and that's what's happened this year. They've also issued more payouts over $96,000 this year compared to just over 58,000 last year. But according to program coordinator Ken Atkinson, most of that money doesn't even get picked up. We probably have 20 to 25 percent of our awards are picked up. The rest go unclaimed. Once we notify you that you have a reward, you have uh, two weeks to pick that reward up and a lot of times it's just never picked up. And Atkinson says, yes, you do have the option to call in, but he says most tips are submitted online, ensuring total anonymity. Same goes for when collecting your reward money. He says they assign you a number, which you give to the teller with their partner bank, and the teller and then returns the money with your money, no names required. Your reporter in Birmingham, James Giles, WBRC 6 News, on your side.